Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel. And um, we're going to talk a little bit about what's the future now. What do we know? What do we know is coming up for this year and next year uh, for Windows right now? So a lot of you have been asking me, um, you know, any other things that we should know, any big update for Windows 10, any what's exactly going to happen. So with release today of the insider builds that have separate channels now, um, what you see here, and that's why there's a watermark on the bottom right, is moving forward for Windows 11. So this is after October 5th. If you're on the dev channel in insiders, you're not testing something that is new features, new stuff for next year. And you are, of course, having builds that could be much more unstable as the uh, time progresses. So this is moving ahead. This is what technically will probably be next year, um, next year for the update, because we know that it's a once a year major update for Windows 11. So uh, let's start by this year. What's going to happen now? So we have this in the dev. We have beta channel testing the October 5th launch of Windows 11. And we have release preview that now is testing different things. Um, testing either Windows 11 uh, for the October 5th launch, launch or testing uh, also Windows 10 21H2, uh, which is something different. Um, the timeline now is October the 5th is the first of the releases of Windows operating systems that we know. It's the official launch of Windows 11. That is for everybody that has a compatible machine. And of course, that means that computers with Windows 11 should start appearing, if not already on October 5th, soon after in the stores. And we are at that time. Windows 11 is officially launched. And whether you find it complete or not, whether you find it should have taken more time, we are there. Microsoft has announced it. The minimum requirements stayed pretty much the same for the official launch to the stable channel for people that have um, you know, supported PCs. Um, after that, what is going to happen Possibly in October also, we should see 21H2 for Windows 10. So in Windows 10, we are right now 21H1, which is the May update. We'll have 21H2 with the October, November update this year. Uh, that's the second update. A small cumulative update if you're on Windows 10, once again, has a few new little features, including some um, updated Wi-Fi capabilities and um, a few little things about here and there. But, um, you know, once again, it's a small update for most people. It's not going to have much or anything new to see or, or, or feel. Um, but it, it's something that's going to happen. And we know that there will be a small update for Windows 10. Now, 2022, we're, you know, slowly getting there. The, the year is going quite fast, 2021. And in 2022, we are going to expect, um, we're not sure. One thing we're sure is 2022 will have Windows 11 major update at the end of 2022. We know that the second half of each year will get the big update for Windows 11. So what technically this new build here, 22449 is, is testing of and playing around with the stuff that's going to happen later next year, 2022, with features that might or might not make it to Windows 11. That we know. Windows 10, we're not sure exactly what they're going to do because there's really no talk about 22H1, 22H2. And since Windows 11 is now the big focus, um, I would expect, honestly, that we're going to have just small updates for bug fixes, for security, and Windows 10's development and uh, updates will be rather quiet for the rest of its life cycle. Um, so Windows 10 will have its life cycle until 2025, 10 years, just like Windows 7, just like all the other operating system. Um, what's going to happen in 2025 
Is there going to be an extension to Windows 10 or not? Um, there's a lot of unknowns here because Microsoft usually does not extend, but they did. And Windows XP, for example, they did extend to everybody for a little more support because there are still too many people on Windows XP. On Windows 7, they did 10 years, and the only ones that are getting the updates for the extended Windows 7 is business because it's long-term support paid updates. So one thing we are pretty sure is there's going to be long-term support paid updates for Windows 10 for sure for business. And I expect business maybe to be, um, you know, in 2025, it's going to be as we get closer, it's going to be very interesting to see how many people are still on Windows 10. Because the adoption rate of Windows 11 might actually be much slower than Windows 10. And that's okay because people will want to keep their Windows 10 machine for the most part for a lot of people. Um, will that make Microsoft extend the support for free a little more on Windows 10? It's possible. It will all depend on the numbers. How many users are still on Windows 10 by the time we get close to the uh, support, uh, the end of support for Windows 10. But one thing for sure is that it's probably now quiet for Windows 10. Just cumulative updates, security updates, uh, nothing major, no, no more big feature updates that take forever to install. Uh, that's pretty much over for Windows 10 that we're pretty sure. Uh, focus is really going to go on Windows 11. So that's pretty much what we have right now for Windows operating system. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.